How's it going everyone? JKXVX here, back on Forza Horizon 4 once again. Time for another Torben Tuesday. As you all know, a week before we get an update in Forza Horizon 4, we are given an image from Forza themselves containing clues about what's going to be in the update. Today's video I'm going to show you the image, show you all the clues that are in it and see if we can crack any of them and figure out what exactly is coming in next week's update. Now this is all for update 17 which is releasing next week so we won't find out if we're wrong or correct with these guesses until next week when we find out. But anyway let's waste no time and have a look at this week's Le Morven Tuesday. Here it is, this is the image full of clues about update 17 which releases next week. I'm going to start with the whiteboard, then we're going to do the monitors and then we're going to do stuff that's off the monitors around the desk and stuff like that. Now we're going to start with the whiteboard. Now I'm going to break the white cord into four pieces because I believe there's four different interesting things on this whiteboard. We're going to have the red part, the yellow part, the green part and the blue part. So let's start with the main bit of the board, the yellow part. And the yellow part is a bunch of YouTube thumbnails. Now you may remember last month something called the Eliminator popped up. A new traffic vehicle, which was a truck with a design on it of the Eliminator, popped up in Forza Horizon 4 lobbies. And not many people really noticed this, but a few people did. I, in fact, actually made a video on this talking about what this new truck with an Eliminator design on it could be. The number plates on the car said soon as well, hinting that it's something coming soon. And that's about all we really know about it, really. I predicted that it may be some kind of mini game, a new race type a new kind of in-game thing entirely, you know, quite advanced. But if you have a look in it, you'll actually see that my thumbnail is on this board. How cool is that? This information on this whiteboard tells me that the Eliminator is being revealed this next update. We're going to find out exactly what it is. However, we may already know a little bit more about it from this whiteboard. You'll see that on top of all the thumbnails are also some sticky notes, which some of them read the following. The one on the left says the same truck every time. Just a bit of a random quote there. At the top it says, where are the other trucks? Over here it says, what does he know? Preferably talking about the geezer above. Then down here it says, very soon. And over here on this top one it actually says, is that a Supra? So the yellow sticky notes don't seem to give us any information. They're just a bit random. Unfortunately, the sticky note that's on my piece of paper, I can't read. <laughs> but yeah, the yellow bit of the board is thumbnails and just basically lots of random things Presumably telling us, you know, keep guessing about the Eliminator, you're getting there, it's going to be something. But the other little bits of the board are the most interesting things. Let's have a look at the blue bit, which is down here. Now the interesting thing about this picture is there's not just a truck in the photo, there is a car in the photo instead, but with the Eliminator design on it. If you look next to it, it also says, is this one of ours? Presumably hinting that, is this one of our photos instead? As in Playground Games' photo. So I'm not too sure, is this a hint towards what the Eliminator could be? They've actually put the design on a car instead and trying to kind of hinting towards, I don't know, is the car some part of the Eliminator thing? We're not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems like that picture was taken at the drag strip as well. So is the Eliminator going to be done at the drag strip? I'm not sure, we'll have to wait and see. Now on to the other interesting things of the whiteboard, we've got the green part. The green part is a bit of text which says Eliminator you know, the whole thing about it. And then it says below it, AES, the key. Now, I wasn't too sure what this was at first, but we have a look at the red part of the board, there's a little bit of code. And I thought this was something encrypted. I couldn't find out how to de-encrypt it, but someone managed to crack that up in the green bit, AES, the key, AES is actually an encryption method which means that's the key. So we can actually decrypt this message over here using the AES decryption method. And when you decrypt it, it actually gives us a number, which is 157610-8800. And that is a basically a time and date of Thursday, December the 12th, 12 a.m. this year. Credit to Cone Man the Bongbarian for finding this out. I think he was the one who managed to decrypt it. But to put it short, this whiteboard tells us all this random stuff about the Eliminator, YouTube thumbnails, little quotes, maybe a little hint towards a car at the bottom, and then a code which is encrypted to say December the 12th next week. So 
I think we're getting the Eliminator December the 12th next week. Do we know what it is yet? Not a clue. Now that was very complicated coverage of the whiteboard, but that's I believe everything we need to know from the whiteboard. Now let's have a look at what's on the monitors. Let's quickly fly through this. On the left hand side we'll see the monitor is just a picture of the Toyota Supra. We already know the Toyota Supra is returning to the game. It would be hilarious if they didn't tell us and they showed us like this. That would make everyone go mental. But yeah, Toyota Supra on the left hand monitor. We're getting that next week. We already know that. Now the middle monitor seems to be some kind of place around the windmill area. Now I've done similar things like this before, taking pictures of certain parts of the map and some of them have turned out to be a New Horizon story. Now you may have also seen in my other video about the Eliminator truck, I mentioned something about a New Horizon story being found as well. That's the most I can think in this middle image. Maybe are we getting a New Horizon story this month as well? And is this going to be the start location of it? There seems to be some kind of area around the windmill. I'm not too sure. We'll have to wait and see. On the right hand monitor, there's a few little bits. One of them is a Bing search. Not a Google search, a Bing search. Really, Zorban? And it's basically for the word Cougar. Now. Are we getting a Ford Cougar or a Mercury Cougar in the next update? I'd say quite likely because that tends to be what their Google, sorry, Bing searches used to be. Hints towards a new car. Could we be getting the Ford Cougar in the next update? We'll have to wait and see. Now at the bottom there is a picture, must be of some kind of TV show with the word Carol on it. Now there's not many cars with the word Carol in it. There is a Mazda Carol, but I don't think we'll be getting that. Now for the monitors, that's all we know, but there is actually a few things off the monitors on the desk this time, which is pretty cool. If we have a look at the background behind the left-hand monitor, we'll see what seems to be three Forza Horizon 4 Hot Wheels cars, little miniature Hot Wheels cars, and people have actually managed to identify these. The one on the left is the Lamborghini Veneno Hot Wheels, and the one on the right is the BMW M3 Hot Wheels. Not too sure what the one in the middle is, but could we be getting Hot Wheels variants of the M3 or Hot Wheels variants of the Lamborghini Veneno? Not sure. Or, seeing as it is right above an advent calendar, could the BMW M3 and the Lamborghini Veneno be a car that we're getting for free this month from the advent calendar? Because as you never know, every day this month we're getting a free car in the Forzagon shop. So maybe the Veneno and the M3 are two of those cars. We'll have to wait and see. And then the bottom right, the only other thing that people have mentioned is this little Lego figure, which seems to have some kind of cannon on it. He's sat on a cannon of some sort. Now, people have said that this could relate to the Eliminator, and I kind of agree. Could this cannon Lego figurine be hinting that the Eliminator is some kind of aggressive game mode where you eliminate people with, I don't know, throwing stuff on the road or... I don't want to say shooting them, but some kind of knockout race where you have to physically knock people out. Not as in punching them in the face, but driving into them or smashing something at them. I'm not sure. Along with the truck in traffic, there has actually been some other flatbed trucks found with cement tubing on them, brick fences, brick walls, and what was the other one? I think metal poles. So maybe this eliminator game mode is going to be something to do with building or just eliminating people i don't have a clue but i have a feeling that the eliminator game mode is going to be more than just a race where the person in last place gets eliminated now i believe that's everything on this screen about the next update it does seem like the eliminator is coming and we're going to find out next week what it's going to be Supra's coming next week, maybe a new Horizon story. The only car hint I believe we have on this image is the Ford Cougar. Now one last thing which I will like to mention is something about the Lamborghini Huracan Performante. I someone said it was mentioned somewhere that they are adding the three most requested cars in order from third best, second best to first best most requested. And the third most requested car is the Bugatti Devo. That's been added. The second most requested car is the Ferrari 488 Pista. That's been added. And people have counted, and the most requested car is the Lamborghini Huracan Performante. So if it's true that they are adding one by one the most requested cars, it is time for the Lamborghini Huracan Performante to be added. That could be completely wrong. It could be lying. I'm just going to throw that out there that we will sure as hell find out next week. 
Everyone let me know in the comment section below what you think this could be, if we're right, if we're wrong, and if you're excited for the Supra next week. Oh yes. But for now guys, leave a like if you've enjoyed, subscribe if you haven't already for more Forza Horizon 4 content, and I'll see you all later.